Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. I was just about to go to sleep. I had a successful upload bashing all of New York, so you know I'm in a particularly good mood. But then I had one of my subscribers send me a link to something that I told myself I had to cover it right here, right now. The money never sleeps, but apparently OnlyFans chicks never sleep either because this is yet again the topic of today's video. I don't know what it is with uh, sex workers or OnlyFans and violence and domestic abuse and things like that, but we need to get to the bottom of it. On this channel, we're going to get to the bottom of it together, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and cover this. We can sleep later. We can rest later. The topic of today's video is Miami OnlyFans model captured on video beating boyfriend she later killed. And uh, this is another heartbreaking story. Rest in peace to Dana Alatabi. But in those last two videos where I was talking about her situation, I stand by every single thing that I said. I know that some of you were coming into the comments like, oh, she she shouldn't have to respect people. You shouldn't have to respect anybody on this earth. I do stand by what I said. And what I the one of the main points that I made is that living as a sex worker, choosing to be a sex worker is a dangerous line of work when compared to other professions. You cannot argue that because if you try to argue with that you obviously don't have any reason you don't have any logic and you don't belong on this channel in the first place hit that dislike button don't let the door hit you on the way out you can get the hell on because we're going to talk about the truth over here and this is yet another tragic incident so miami-dade state attorney called christian obumseli obumseli he, he sounds african i know uh you know I'm, i may be half african for all of you that are wondering they called Christian Obumseli a victim of domestic violence. So they say that this video came out later after she'd already killed the dude. So let's take a look at this video right now. Fox Nation presents two Another out of this ad. world series. Stream alien abductions with Abby Hornacek and unsealed alien files now. Oh. It's all part of the Fox Files. Hey, I haven't Fox watched Nation. news in a minute. Like, what the hell is going on? Okay, here we go. We got the elevator opening up here. She's in her pajamas, in her jammies. God, Lee. Jesus Christ, man. What? Yo, she's straight up attacking this man. She's straight up attacking this dude. She is grabbing him by his hair and stuff like that. And you know what, man? This uh this kind of really this really pisses me the hell off, to be honest, because we hear a lot about and we we should hear a lot about how so many women are abused in relationships. We definitely have made leaps and bounds in taking care of things that need to be taken care of from the woman side of things. But one thing that is still being unheard is men being abused in relationships. It happens a lot more often than you think. I'm telling you that right now. It happens a lot more often than you think, because these women think that, oh, just because he's bigger than me, I can do whatever I want. I can swing. I can I can attack. I can beat this dude up and nobody's going to even believe him if he calls the cops anyways especially if, he, if he's you know i hate to say it i don't you know got you guys you know i don't pull the race car but i mean this is a black dude uh with a little itty bitty white girl you know and she's giving him blows to the head she was yanking his corn rolls on the top of his head she was attacking the elevator like she was attaching attacking the elevator buttons before he even got into the elevator and there's no excuse because if there if if this was the other way around, if this was the other way around, it would be in an uproar and you wouldn't be hearing the story from me. You would already have this story on like mainstream news being played 24 seven of how this guy just beat the hell out of his girlfriend in the elevator. You, you would be hearing about it already, but you're not because there's a narrative that's being suppressed. And that narrative is that men can be victims of domestic abuse. I'm telling you, yo, from like firsthand experience, men can be attacked by women. Men can be attacked by women. And the fact that she goes on later to kill him after this is absolutely disgusting. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's gross. I don't like abuse in any sense, whether it's on men, women, uh, yada, yada. I don't care. I think it's disgusting. And I don't know. We're going to we're going to have to finish this video through, though. So this happened on Monday, February 21st of this year. He's OK. He's just trying to, like, subdue her, get her off. She's was she biting him and shit. God dang. 
yo, just stop. He's trying to stop her. He's like, please look at him. He's just. Uh Oh, see, this is where dudes get in trouble. This is where dudes get in trouble. Like when they. See, this is just dangerous for everybody involved. There's no sound. He's he looks like he's trying to get her off him and she just won't stop attacking him. She won't stop attacking this dude. And the elevator closes behind him. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. So let me read. Let me read. OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny was captured on surveillance video video assaulting Christian Obum Selly in the elevator of their luxury Miami apartment building just two months before she allegedly killed him with a kitchen knife. Miami-Dade state attorney Katie Fernandez Rundle played the video at a press conference when she announced a second degree murder charge against 26 year old Clenny. How did she kill this man? Defendant was aggressively attacking Christian. Rundle describing the couple's two year romance as extremely tempestuous and combative shared a detailed timeline leading up to the fi- fatal attack on April 3rd when Clinny allegedly plunged a kitchen knife three and a half inches into Obumselli's chest, puncturing his subclavian, subclavian artery. Man, I'll be damned. Yo, I'll be damned. Hey, ladies, for every single one of you all listening. I'll be damned if any of you are the end of me, period, period. And for any man watching this or any one woman watching this, I want you to tell yourself right now, I will not be a victim of abuse. I will not die due to domestic abuse. That's that's one of the sickest ways to go out. And I, I will stand by this. I largely believe that it can be prevented. This can be prevented because you know why? Let me find out when this dude got killed. And now she's up here, you know, she's she's up here taking her mug shot and stuff like that, trying to look like the victim. Get the get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that. You're dirt. You're scum. You're scum. Just like if it was a dude whooping up on a girl and then he kills her. Like I called Castillo. He's a he's a freaking sea urchin, too. You're a fucking sea urchin. I don't know what it is about this lifestyle uh this sex worker lifestyle this is why i tell men don't date any woman who's a sex worker period period she has some shit that she needs to go through that's her profession that's her job she needs to deal with that on her own that is an extremely volatile situation to put yourself in and ladies if you do want to be a sex worker understand that it's going to play a heavy part it's going to it's going to weigh very heavily on your mental well-being is going to play very heavily on your spiritual well-being. I believe that if this chick didn't become a sex worker, she'd be less likely to murder a guy. Can I say that? Can I say that? Can I be honest with you all? I believe that if she didn't go down this road of being a sex worker, I don't think she would have been as likely to murder this dude personally, personally. And all for, for all you sex worker, sex workers watching this, I understand that somebody has to do the job. And if you choose to do that job, that's on you. Everybody comes across like hard times, whatever your story is, yada, yada. I hear you. But there are consequences to working in certain lifestyles. If I worked on an oil rig in the middle of the Pacific, I can expect to have a higher mortality rate than if I worked as a librarian, you know, in the middle of the Midwest or something like that. It's just basic logic. It's basic facts. And I'm noticing a pattern with all these OnlyFans husbands, these OnlyFans wives, these OnlyFans people and and all these sex work, sex workers and stuff like that. It's a grimy business. And anybody denying that does not have your best interest in mind. If you're a lady and you're hearing, oh, no, just be a sex worker. It's totally safe. Yeah, do this and do that. You're hearing that from women that don't want to see you achieve your highest purpose on this earth with your God given talents. And you're hearing that also from men that don't really love you. They just want to, to fuck you or they want to see somebody fucking you. They're just that desperate for it. And if you're a guy like like supporting this stuff and, and doing all that is you're not helping the world right now. You're not helping society. Like I said, I'm sick and tired of seeing all this pain in the world. I'm sick and tired of seeing like 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 decent people ruin their lives. I honestly believe that Castillo, when he came out of the womb, he was not capable of stabbing up Dana Alatabi on the side of Hawaii Highway. He, he was not capable of doing that. Society helped mold these people into 
characters that are capable of doing something like that. And until we correct society, until we are realistic with the way society is and the way it's going, we won't see any, you know, any any beneficial changes to these situations. We won't see anybody better off until we are honest with ourselves. Let's read some more. Clinty, who goes by Courtney Taylor on social media, was arrested Wednesday in Hawaii and is awaiting extradition to Florida. The the murder rap. I thought I said the rap murderer at first. You guys have to forgive me. I am a little sleepy. The murder rap against the influencer comes after the victim's family expressed outrage. She had not been charged. Clinty allegedly told the police that she had acted in self-defense and Obumseli was the aggressor. But Rundle said the evidence didn't support her claim. So this woman is dirt. She's dirty. This is a dirty. This woman right here is a you right there. You're a piece of shit <laughs> right here on Champagne Throttle, baby. We call you out. You are a piece of shit. So she not only killed this dude, but she almost got away with it because she uh, uh, released her little alligator tears and was talking about, oh, I was actually the victim. I was actually attacked. She would have gotten away with it if they did not have that video in the elevator. That's ridiculous. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. She would have gotten away with this if they didn't have that video of her true character in the elevator. Clemmy, Clemmy said that she had thrown the knife from 10 feet away, but the medical examiner determined that tossing the weapon from that distance could not have caused the fatal stab wound, according to the authorities. OK, wait a minute. This comes from somebody like. I, I have all types of, of throwing knives, katanas and all kind of stuff like that. This little itty bitty woman is not throwing, you know, a normal kitchen knife with the weight, the light weight of a normal kitchen knife and getting it stuck three and a half inches deep into this dude's chest. Who the fuck does she think she is, Rambo? Is she like a fake lying pussy selling Rambo? Is that it? No, I'm not buying it. I'm glad the authorities didn't buy it either. She really almost got away with this though. Investigators said the stabbing occurred when Clinty was on the phone with her mother, Deborah Clinty, between 4.43 p.m. and 4.56 p.m. Okay, if you were on the phone with your mother, did your mother support this lie? Is that what happened, uh, Miss Deborah Clinty? If I'm going to say that, hey, I was acting in self-defense and I know I did something wrong while being on the phone with my brother, my brother would have to be in on it, wouldn't he? That's just me, you know, putting two and two together here. Really grimy. I was actually going to come out with a video on like, oh, why I like interracial relationships when really I just like women. I like women, period. I sure as hell can't do that now. Damn, I can't do that now. There's too much. The block is too hot. The block is too hot when really it's not about uh, black, white, Mexican, Latina, Asian. I've had them all. I just love women in general. That's the main message I wanted to put forth. But I sure as hell can't even use a freaking clickbaity title like, oh, why I like interracial relationships when the block is this hot. This chick is out here killing an African man. Clinty called 911 and Obum Selly can be heard in the background, background saying that he is dying and losing feeling in his arm. Defendant Clinty is also heard saying, I'm sorry, baby. Yo, 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 yo. At 5.25 p.m., her mother sent a text mentioning self-defense and telling her not to say anything to investigators without an attorney, according to police. I want you guys to know what you should do if you catch yourself in a domestic abuse situation. So usually it's going to start with an argument that got way out of control, that just really got out of control. And before that happens, I want you to be able to take space whenever it is necessary. I'm not saying you take space by going to Cancun with your girlfriends for a week or going to Las Vegas with your bros. No, you should be able to go to a room alone, sit there with your thoughts, let your emotions simmer down. That way you can come back to your partner, cool headed, level headed and able to just go back and forth and have a reasonable discussion without it boiling over and going crazy. But if you do catch yourself in, in a situation like that, I want you to immediately begin recording i want you to like I, I swear to god i've been in a situation like this right before i've been in a situation like this and something that saved me was putting my phone in a corner putting my phone somewhere in the corner of the room and i just put it on record because i just couldn't get away with, get away from this person this was when i was young i was like 20 years old and uh that ended up saving me and what i want you to also do is call the police if necessary try to get away from this person 
Call the police if necessary. If somebody puts your hands on you, I don't care, man, woman, dog, call the police. Call the police. Make sure you have stuff recording. Make sure you're you're covering the entire thing because people that are willing to put hands on their partners in that way, they're they're very vile. They're very disgusting people. They're very disgusting people that will do whatever they can get away with. As a man, this is absolutely necessary because the police will come by the by the time the police get there. When the police got there for my situation, the chick I was with, she was like all teary eyed. She was crying and stuff like that. And of course, like like I'm I'm a two hundred and like twenty pound dude at the time. I'm a, I'm a big dude. And when I'm like, hey, this person's attacking me or whatever like that, that it's only reasonable for them to lean a little bit more towards the woman because she is a woman. This is why I say men and women are never the same. I've have made video, many videos covering this already. But uh, as a man, you definitely need to make sure that you are documenting. And as a man, get the hell on, get the hell on, go, go. Like if man, if only men had the guts to let go of consistent pussy, I don't give a damn how good your consistent pussy is or how good you think it is. If it's attached to a piece of shit woman, you leave her, period. All right, so let's keep on reading. Obum Selly left the apartment for about three hours, returning at 4.33 p.m. So the police were called or something happened. Let's look at this timeline yet again. Okay, she's Instagram live at 4.01. She called him, walks into the apartment. She calls her mother 10 minutes later. Made a second call to her mother. Yeah, so if I had to make an assumption, right? So this dude walks into the apartment. They get into an argument. She calls the mom. I don't know. They hang up. She kills the dude, then calls back. Calls back, and then the phone call lasts a little over seven minutes. You add that to 4.49 p.m. That's about 4.56 p.m. So then she immediately calls 911 after talking to her mother. Huh? I think it's fishy. I think it's a little fishy. Then 504, the police officers exit the elevator at the unit. But um, let's keep on going, going down and reading. So Obumseli, rest in peace, Obumseli. Obumseli left the apartment for about three hours, returning at 4.33 p.m. with Subway sandwiches. At the same time, Kleene had just wrapped up an Instagram live broadcast to her 2 million followers. Oh, 2 million followers. Who gives a fuck? Bragging about her great abs and summer plans to build my butt back up. It appears to be her last social media post. The pair moved into the high rise apartment in January, but fought so frequently that building staff had documented numerous domestic incidents and management was planning to evict them. Wow. Like that's that's my point. That's my point. I'm not blaming the victim. I never blame the victim because the victim is the victim. Right. But if Obum Selly had more dignity, if he had more honor, if he had more self-respect, if he respected himself enough to leave this crazy motherfucker here, he would still be alive. I have dumped chicks that I've been head over heels in love with because they like did not respect me at the time in my younger years. I've had women that, you know, I say, hey, you either respect me or this is not going to work. They called my bluff. They disrespected me. And then that was it. I cut them off. I cut them off and walked. I cut them off and walked. And today I'm fucking golden. I'm good. I'm great. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able, man or woman, to be able to walk. Is Especially as a man, especially as a man, I'm, I'm going to be fine till like 39 years old. Come on, man. What am I doing hanging on to consistent pussy if it's attached to a crazy woman? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. They were going to get evicted. They fought so frequently. I don't care if you agree or disagree. I'm telling you logically, reasonably that social media and these sex worker apps and stuff like that have done a number on the spiritual and mental well-being of our women. It's a conversation that we need to have. Kleene had a pattern of attacking her beau. In January 2021, she was arrested in Las Vegas for domestic battery in their hotel after allegedly throwing a glass toward his head, according to a police report obtained by Fox News Digital. The pair had broken up in March but reconciled April 1st, 
just two days before the fatal confrontation. Isn't that some shit? Isn't that some, some shit? Isn't that crazy? To get arrested in Las Vegas, you have to really be, you know, a piece of shit. I mean, I, I talked about John Bones Jones before when he was putting hands on his wife. You really have to be a turd to get arrested in Las Vegas of all places. But this happened back. This happened over a year ago. It breaks my heart because I once again believe that these situations can be prevented. This could have been prevented. And I blame her. She is the sea urchin. She's the evil sea urchin involved here. But Obum Selly should have left this relationship a long time ago. You should have left this relationship a long time ago, my brother. Rest in peace. I hate the fact that you went out this way. But let this be a lesson to men everywhere. Let this be a lesson to men everywhere. What good? What good is consistent pussy if it's attached to a piece of shit woman? Just walk. Just walk. They need you more than you need them, to be honest. Hawaii County Police assisted U.S. Marshal Service with the arrest on the Big Island where the influencer was in a rehabilitation facility for substance abuse and post-traumatic stress disorder, according to her attorney. Okay, so she wasn't trying to escape. She got PTSD from killing her man. And uh, apparently she was just abusing substances while she was doing it and stuff. We look forward to clearing her name in court. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, you pieces of shit. Like, I, I, I don't understand, like, why people try to defend, you know, the unjust. Why do we defend the wicked? It, I don't know. I, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you could be like, oh, she was on substances, but, oh, you know, oh, Castillo, he was disrespected online. Oh, Castillo, did you see how she was like provoking him? I understand. I do. I understand where you're coming from. I do. But at the end of the day, we're in, in control of our own thoughts and actions. I can. We cannot put blame on Dana Alatabi. We cannot put blame on Obumseli. But we can be freaking honest if people are being stupid, and that's what we do on this channel. Obumseli, you should have left this relationship. Dana Alatabi, you should have left the relationship, and you shouldn't have been provoking like. Uh, this person if they had a history of abusing you supposedly like like what the hell is wrong with people everybody's thinking that life is a game everybody's treating life like it's just you know oh instagram followers it's all about the instagram followers and the the best looking food i can get on snapchat no this is real life this is real life and it can end a lot sooner than you think it can if you are not careful if you don't really live the right way so prieto I'm assuming Prieto is the defense attorney. Prieto had, has said that Clinty was forced to stab Obumseli after he grabbed her by the throat. The lawyer said Obumseli had been stalking her for weeks. This is her lawyer. He blasted the prosecutors for releasing the elevator footage. It's a shame that the state attorney's office is seeking to win this case in the court of public opinion by showing an irrelevant and likely in inadmissible video of Courtney in an elevator getting physical with Ob Obumseli. That's, that's funny how... Uh, Prieto is saying this, but if it was the other way around, if it was a woman getting beat the hell up in an elevator by a man, he would be using that like <laughs> he, he would be all over. If this situation was the other way around and Clinty had died and Obum Selly had killed her, he, it, he would be pushing this to The View. He'd be pushing this to every major news source in the world trying to help him win his case. But do you see how quickly these sea urchins like to try to dismiss stuff when it happens to men do you see how quickly that you know the rules change pay very close attention to that and that's why you need to protect yourself as a man obum Selly was the abuser the worst kind of abuser he would manipulate and abuse courtney in private when he thought no one was around the statement continued a lawyer for the victim's family Larry Hanfield pressured the state attorney's office to reopen the case after police concluded she had acted in self-defense. He stood with the victim's family at Thursday's press conference. So she actually convinced the police that she did act in self-defense. Dirty. Disgusting. Disgusting. You're willing to kill your, your partner. You're willing to kill your loved one and then hold their body and then lie and be like, oh, yeah, it was actually self-defense. I'm too much of a coward to actually say what happened. It was it was self-defense. I'm just a sweet little angel. It could never be me. I could never do something like this. She was spotted at a hotel bar days after the slaying getting drinks. These people. There's a there is definitely 
some spiritual warfare going on here in the world right now. There's there's some spiritual warfare. I'm not going to go into like demonic stuff. I'm not even going to go that far into it. But when I tell you that the spirit of the men in this women, men and women in this country has definitely taken a turn for the worse, the spiritual intelligence, the spiritual awareness, you know, just their actions and the way that we treat one another is not the same. I don't I don't believe that it's the same as like 2011 or 2012. The world seems a little bit smaller and there seem to be a lot more sea urchins. There seem to be a lot more wolves in sheep's clothing. I want you to be safe out here. I, I don't I mean, I make videos to be funny and stuff like that. Yeah. But this is this is serious, man. I want you to be safe. The slain man's heartbroken brother, Jeff Obumselli, wrote on Instagram shortly after the alleged murder that Clini was being treated differently because of her privilege as a wealthy white woman. He slammed the detective on the case for concluding within 24 hours of Obumselli's killing that a crime had not occurred. That's pretty screwed up. That's pretty screwed up, uh, detective. Like, you're concluding within 24 hours. Like, oh, no, yeah, no, you just killed him. Hey, it's cool. It's fine. It was self-defense. You told me it was self-defense, right? You guys... Okay, cool. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. Okay, yeah, we're good. That's come on, man. Come on, let's be better. Let's be better. We have every reason to believe his death was the result of unwarranted and unprovoked violence. He wrote a week after his brother's death. Clenny was also not taken into custody despite an arrest warrant out of Austin, Texas for failing to show up on a DUI case. What? She was getting away with murder. I know veterans. I know a couple people that got a DUI and they had a warrant out and then they, you know, get caught up just like that. But this woman was not taken into custody that day, even though she had an arrest warrant for failing to show up on a DUI case. So I know we're not blaming people and I'm going to use the word allegedly. I'm not, you know, defaming anyone. This is just me making my own personal opinion. But I'm seeing a long line of bad decision making. You got DUIs, you got previous domestic violence you know, cases and arrest and being arrested in Las Vegas and stuff like that. I don't know. It's not adding up. You don't seem like the sweet little angel that just is supposed to get away with stabbing somebody in the chest, supposedly from throwing a knife from 10 feet away. You, you're not like that. You're not built like that. We'll see how this goes, but I'm, I'm glad this video came to light. I'm, a, I'm glad this video came to light, but let that be a lesson to everybody on these domestic relationships and the nature of sex work. I want you all to be very careful. I don't if you're a man, I don't really want you dating women that are sex workers. Let them handle their business on their own. If you really want to date her, date her once she gets out of the game and once she like heals herself and gets help and stuff like that. Men, if you're being abused, don't be afraid to leave the situation. Don't be afraid to bring it up and call somebody. Talk to somebody, man. I know it's kind of embarrassing, like speaking from firsthand experience. I remember being being 20 and going through what I went through. I mean, it wasn't anything bad or crazy, but it was embarrassing I called my boss. Shout out to you. If you're watching this video right now, I called my boss as soon as it happened. As soon as it happened, I called my boss. I called the police. Basically, just, you know, just covered up. Uh, Philly shelled a little bit, just bobbing and weaving. I, I still had it. I, I was I was with it. But uh, yeah, just defend yourself. Don't do anything back because they will use that against you if you're a man. And make sure you're the thing that will save you, the thing that will freaking save you. Your your golden ticket into the chocolate factory of freedom will be you being able to have a recording of the incident. In my other video, I showed you the video about Karen's, how you take away their power by recording their absurd actions in real time. It works the exact same way for domestic violence situations. If somebody knows that they potentially could be shown in, you know, in public court or whatever, doing whatever they're doing, they're going to act a little bit differently. They're going to act a little bit safer. You're not going to be as hurt. Ladies, if you're in a domestic violence situation, same thing goes for you. Escape, move, get, get away, get away from the danger, get away from the danger, get away from the danger very early. And I'm saying the very first time somebody even shows an inclination to attacking or putting hands on you or anything like that, go. I want you to just cut it off. Leave them right there. If you ever find yourself in a situation where it is dire and it could be possibly fatal, I want you to call the police immediately. And then then if you have to go out of your door and run to another man, run to another group of people, do that. Do that. I'm tired of seeing you guys go out bad like this. But, um, you know what? I really did. 
I had to record that. I had to I had to cover this, guys. I, I want you all to be really careful. We'll see if we have any more only fatalities. It may end up becoming a series that I cover here. But I honestly believe sex work is not the best work for your spiritual well-being. I want you to take care of yourself, please. So just so you don't get my main points misconstrued, here they are. Number one, what she did was absolutely wrong. This video shows, uh, and also according to her previous arrest in Las Vegas, shows that she has a history of beating up on this dude. Right. It's, it's, it's bad. She even calls her mom in the middle of it, then calls the police right after. The police have proof of the mom saying, hey, say it was self-defense. That's it's dirty. That's grimy. I think this situation is grimy. Number three, get away from all domestic violence. It's nothing to play with. You don't play with your life. This is not an Internet game. This is real life out here. All right. That's all I have for today's video. I'm sorry. It's a little bit more somber. I, I It was hard to really joke in this one, but I appreciate you guys hanging out. I really do. I'll tell you what. You all be safe. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Take care of yourselves. All right. Till next time. Peace.